Hi there, welcome to part 2 of the video series of the Fixed Deposit Tracker. If you haven't seen part 1, click on this link and then come back here to understand this better. Now we have the tracker ready. Let's put some insight into it using conditional formatting and desum formulas. First thing that we want to do is, we want to mark in orange all the FDs that have already been matured. Logically, how do we know this? In terms of days to maturity, whatever is in negative is what is already matured, right? So that's the logic that we're going to use here. To apply conditional formatting, first select this entire column without the header. Please remember this. Go to Home tab, Conditional Formatting, Highlight Cell Rules, Less Than. Here, put 0. In the kind of formatting, let's choose a custom format and choose orange color fill. Once you're done with that, press OK and press OK again. Beautiful. So whatever is negative is shown in orange. In other words, whatever FDs have already been matured are shown in orange. But I don't like this. I want this entire row to be highlighted in orange, right? Let's see how to do this. First, let's remove this particular rule that we created. So go to conditional formatting, go to clear rules from entire sheet. Now select the entire data without the header, go to conditional formatting and click on new rule. Here we will learn to use a formula. So click on use a formula to determine which cells to format. Let's put the formula equal to dollar m3 less than 0. Let's understand this. Dollar m3. m3 is the cell from where the particular number of days of maturity are starting. So m is that column. 3 is the row from where it's starting. So when we put dollar $m3, it always checks the M column because of the dollar, but not always row 3 because there is no dollar. So then it will automatically go to row 4, row 5, row 6, but in M column itself. To check what? To check this condition less than 0. Let's give it a formatting. So go to format, take the orange color, press OK, press OK. Brilliant. Now we also want to know which all of the FDs are going to mature in the next 7 days or next 15 days or next 31 days or whatever number of days that we want to check for. To create this flexibility in knowing, let's first make this particular small data structure outside. What I have done is, I have written in the cell O3 the number of days that I want to know in which how many FDs are going to mature. Using this particular cell, we will make this flexibility. So again, go to conditional formatting by selecting all the data and click on new rule. Go to user formula. Here we will use the formula called equal to and. Let's first understand this formula. When we say $m3 greater than or equal to 0, we are simply indicating that highlight all the FDs where the days to maturity is more than or equal to 0. Try to remember the formula that we used earlier. It's very similar. Comma, the second condition in the AND is going to be $m3 less than or equal to this particular cell that is $O, $3. Meaning, check the M column for number of days that are less than or equal to the number of days mentioned in this particular cell that is O3. Let's apply this formula and select the kind of formatting that we want. Let's give it a red color and we press OK and press OK. So the next 31 days, these two particular FDs are going to mature. Let's test this. If I put seven here, only this particular FD is going to mature. If I put 180, that is 6 months approx, these particular FDs are going to mature. This way you have created the flexibility. Beautiful, isn't it? 
Let's move on. Let's put some more insight into our tracker. Now in these 180 days, you know that these four particular FDs are going to mature. Similarly, in 31 days, you know these two particular FDs are going to mature. But you also want to know that what is going to be the exact interest amount total of these particular FDs and also the maturity amount total. In simple words, if I put seven here, I know that okay, the interest amount is going to be 293 and the maturity amount is going to be 15,293. If I put 31 days here, there are two FDs. So I can manually add the amounts, but I don't want to do that manually. So let's create a formula which is called equal to D sum and automatically get the summations. To use the D sum, we'll have to create a small structure again outside. So what I have done here is simply copy pasted the particular header of the column that I want to test on. So I have taken number of days to maturity and copy pasted it twice here. For the conditions, I have put greater than equal to zero and less than equal to 31. Try to recollect the earlier thing that we had done using the AND formula. Isn't it similar? Let's see how to use the DSUM formula now. So we make the formula in this particular box of maturity amount equal to DSUM. The first thing it's asking you for is a database. So select the entire data, including the headers, comma, field. What do you want in the output? Sum of maturity amount. So take that header as the field, comma. So take that particular columns header as the field, comma, criteria. What's the criteria? This is what you've created outside. Once you select this, it ends the two particular conditions and forms the criteria for you. Close the bracket, press enter. So the sum of the maturity amounts of these two particular FDs are automatically done. Similarly, to get the interest amount, let's use one more DSUM formula. Equal to DSUM, database, choose the entire data, field, interest amount, column header, comma, criteria. Close the bracket, enter. Superb. Let's test this. If I put seven here, I am getting the maturity amount as 15,293, which you can match it immediately, as well as the interest amount is the same. So we know our formula is working correctly. Let's put 30 here. These two particular FDs, 180. Some of these four particular FDs are being calculated automatically. Awesome. Watch the part three of this video series to create more insights into this particular tracker to make your work much more easier and to manage your fixed deposits across all your accounts, across all your family members much more easily. See you.